November 2023. Journey. Good and bad. While firmly believing in the value of kindness and compassion, Chibi Verma realizes that the world will never be a perfect place and that the shadow aspects play an important role in the larger scheme of things. I had a fairly evolved consciousness since childhood. It wasn't difficult for me to understand the human heart, the difference between right and wrong, and the need and value of compassion. What intrigued me however was not finding adults on the same page as me. They did not understand my empathy or my sense of fairness and often put me down for my sensitivity. Though it upset me, I was nonetheless baffled that they could not understand what was as clear as daylight. For instance, when family members criticized each other relentlessly, I often felt like telling them that if they saw too many shortcomings in others, they won't realize when those failings have become their own. But since I was young, I was afraid of being called too big for my boots and therefore kept quiet. Once an uncle of mine brought home a lost pup that was separated from its adoptive family. Instead of trying to find its rightful owners, he decided to keep it, uncaring of the fact that the pup held day and night for its owners. He said that he had brought it for me as I was fond of dogs, not realizing that I would be happier to see it reunited with its original family. Moved by its cries, I would spend most of my time trying to pet and soothe it, only to be admonished by relatives for being too focused on the dog and not paying enough attention to them. I used to wonder why the cries of the dog did not move them and make them want to cuddle it or reunite it with its owners. Since no one stood up for me in these matters and people were mostly unanimous in schooling me, I began to think that being kind was akin to being stupid and being hard was synonymous with being strong and smart. Thankfully, as I grew older, I realized that my empathy and kindness were not lacunae but assets to make this world a better place. However, my past experience has taught me a valuable lesson. Planet Earth is still densely populated by people vibrating on a lower frequency. Many do not understand the feelings of others or how their actions hurt others. Most are motivated by selfishness, avarice, ego, or insecurity, and it's difficult for them to look beyond narrow interests. This knowledge makes it easier for me to understand certain inexplicable behaviors of people. When they scheme, backstab, betray, or gossip, I realize that so much of it is an expression of the unhealed collective human consciousness, and we still have a long way to go. Furthermore, if all is one, and nothing is outside of me, then, sadly, Every violation, excess, and wrongdoing being committed on others is nothing but a part of me that is still vibrating at a primitive, unawakened level. I cannot pin the blame on others and act all self-righteous, lamenting the sorry human state. I have to take responsibility. I have to send healing to all the distorted and wounded psyches causing untold suffering to others, and, at the same time, learn to accept that some are born this way and will never change. They are only serving the higher purpose of making humans value all the good things they have been blessed with, and never take anything for granted, for it takes just a small frown of the divine forces to change the complexion of life from good to bad. Editor-in-Chief of Life Positive, Chivi Verma is a devotee who found all her answers in loving God passionately. We welcome your comments and suggestions on this article. Mail us at editor at lifepositive.net.